before I cut it open and try to trim the lid upside down. Uh, you could put your lid upside down right on the, the base, but uh, usually I prefer to uh, put the lid on a chuck because that way you could use the, the base to measure if that is very tight fit. And, uh, this is the uh, the chuck that uh, I best fired it. And I want to show you to make something like that, a smaller uh, chuck. And uh, you could put your piece because that on the top is a little dome, so uh, you need to have it uh, sit on the chuck so that you will be able to trim it. Alright, this piece of clay is about uh, a pound and, and uh, four ounces. As long as you could uh, center, you, you, you know how to open it. It's very easy to make a chuck. And uh, for me to be able to put the lid on top of it, uh, this chuck should be uh, a bit wider, okay, a bit wider, so that the 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 lid is sitting right on the chuck. So I'm sending it a bit wider and putting my hand clearly uh, come coming out while I'm pushing it down, so the base is wider. And now I'm ready to. Uh, to open it. And uh, you don't need to have a base, so just go ahead and uh, take it all the way down to the bed. And gradually you push out, you don't want to have the base too, a bit too thick, so just widen it. This is the, the finger, my left hand is pushing that direction and while I'm using my thumb to, uh, to help it. And the, the hand on the side is helping to stabilize it while I'm stretching it. Center. Uh, later on, you can just use a uh, a wooden rip to uh, remove it. And now I want to slightly uh, raise it up. Just pinch and lift. While the uh, cylinder is low. It's very easy to uh, to do that as long as you use your right hand to stabilize your left and just pinch. Uh, you see that I'm using my uh, right fingertip to uh, stabilize my thumb and then just grab the clay and move it up. Well, you could use a, a, a rip to help you to smooth. It really doesn't matter the outside. But uh, my, it's my personal preference that I want to have a nice and clean outside. So I want to create a little of a, a curve on the rim here. Because the the lid has a little curve, little dome, so I want the uh, curve to follow. So this this uh, rib, the wooden rib, is very good for doing that. So there's a curve here.
complex. So that is the uh, very simple check and uh, clean up. And then I will use a heat gun to dry it real quick. And we can use that to trim right away. Right, so it's uh, dry, not very uh, like the other half stage yet, uh, but uh, it's it's workable. And um, first, I don't recommend you uh, use the torch or heat gun if you have a a plastic uh, bat. Okay, I guess once you hit it, uh, you are you are killing it. You, you that the bat is gonna work. So if you have plastic bat. Uh, don't do that. Just let it dry naturally, okay? Uh, or you can uh, throw it right on the wheel head. That should be fine. And then uh, after you done with the uh, throwing and uh, the other hard stage, uh, you can actually trim a little bit. But since the uh, the chuck is made out of clay, and you could uh, trim it so that you will. Uh, piece will fit better and you can bring your uh, cover jar to uh, to here and uh, check it and see if it's fitting okay so that's one way you could do it um, just cut it off from the bed Right, so that's the uh, the check for if you are making a lot of the uh, cover jar. Uh, my recommendation is making a um, clay chuck. Uh, don't bisque fire. Don't let it dry. Keep it the moisture so your chuck will just hold in the clay better. Because when it's still uh, uh, the 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 hard stage, try to use the clay to hold it. Uh, your clay will stay. Okay, without uh, falling off. If you piss fire it, uh, it's very hard for the clay to uh, stick on it. Uh, if you have a bisque chuck, my suggestion is you soak your chuck in the water for uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes until it doesn't absorb water anymore. And then uh, you use a clay to hold it and it will still work, okay? So I put it aside.